Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay. So this guy, Judge Greg Mathis, has been getting slammed by some people for supporting his son's unholy, nasty union. And I agree, he should. I believe that any black person, black man, especially him being an influential guy who supports these type of things, should be slammed by people and held accountable. But I'm not shocked at all that this guy, Judge Greg Mathis, is out supporting this because he's a coward, and I always believe he was a charlatan. And these are the type of things that I think that he would actually support. You know, he has a son who's a lizard, and his son is getting married to a man, so Judge Mathis is out supporting this union. Uh, he's been running around for years, proud of his son, uh, showcasing his son. It's absolutely disgusting. I think it's wrong. I think it's cowardly. I think it's the act of a white supremacist, and this has nothing to do with a man loving his child regardless. People who have a child who are into this type of lifestyle, whether it be a son or a daughter, they're going to love their child regardless, yes. But this is about somebody who's using their celebrity to promote something like this, which is anti the black family, anti-black man. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people like to bring that point up, but that's not what it's about. OK, Judge Mathis has been an anti-black buck dancing coward for many years. And uh, he's now going on. He's in the media now with this nonsense. Uh, his wife left him or something like that. Even she was probably tired of it. Who knows what kind of disgusting things she knows or understands as to why she left. I don't know, you know, but I just know from what I can see, this guy's a coward. He's a weasel and he's absolutely a low vibrational punk for supporting and promoting anything like this that's against the black family. And this is not about his son, totally. You know, it's not about his son. It could be anybody's son, an influential person who goes around and says, I'm proud of you, son. How could you be proud of your son or any man because he's marrying a man and you call him brave? Absolutely disgusting. Okay? Now, the problem with this guy, Judge Greg Mathis, is, and this is when I really, really started to look at this dude different. When I noticed that this guy would use his celebrity and his platform of just being Judge Greg Mathis to diss and berate black men, yet he can support his son, who is a black man that's doing something absolutely disgusting and wrong, but he uses his celebrity and his platform to berate Black men. So black men who are not carrying in this white supremacist rainbow type lifestyle. If you're not that, he has no problem berating and dissing black men. OK. And when I seen Judge Mathis doing this, OK, when he was uh, uh, berating black men and talking down on black men, using his platform and his celebrity to do this. At the same time, he was taking advantage of the minds of confused, bitter, upset black women, okay, at the time, because most black women who would support these type of things are usually confused, bitter, or people who just fail to accept responsibilities for the decisions that they made in their life. Now, if you aren't one of these women, obviously, you're not part of this group, okay, and Judge Mathis would not support you anyway. He likes to take advantage. He's one of those guys that likes to take advantage of of these confused uh, black women who are caught up in a lot of celebrity worship and often bitter and upset, you know. Now, I'll show you what I mean, and you'll understand whether or not you're a woman that fits into this category, or if you're a man or whatever, you can understand why I have such issues with Judge Mathis and people like him, because I'm going to keep on going. Check this out. Yes. 
Okay, there you go. So what influential black man with a platform does that? Goes to an event. He's got a bunch of big church ladies in there, a bunch of bitter women, all up in arms, confused at the most, all up in arms and happy that somebody's dissing black men. Who supports that? Nobody but somebody who's a confused black person, okay? There's no other group of people on earth that will clap and applaud anyone that's dissing openly their brothers, their dads, their sons, you know, picking at low vibrational fruit in the culture. And what gets me about this, right, what gets me about this is the same people who will stand up and clap and applaud this nonsense that Judge Greg Mathis is doing are the same ones who got upset with that guy, Kevin Samuel, and his platforms, and get upset with the other people who supported and liked Kevin Samuel. Again, the same people in that auditorium who were standing up, clapping, and applauding Judge Greg Mathis for what he was saying about black men are the same people who would get upset with Kevin Samuel and his platforms and the people who supported him. Now, the Kevin Samuel narrative and what Greg Mathis, Greg Judge Mathis, Greg, Judge Greg Mathis just did OK, they are doing the same exact thing. The people that support them both are usually the same exact people. I don't understand how black people don't realize it. And let me get to something right quick, you know, because we have some of his nephews and his godsons coming and saying whatever. I made my first video about this guy, Kevin Samuel, when he was alive. OK, I made a few videos about him when he was alive. When he passed away, I stopped because I just felt as though that's enough. You know, I, even when he was alive, there wasn't disrespectful videos. I was just getting to the point and saying what it is. OK, but I got to be real and I don't care what anybody says or their feelings, whatever about this. I, I don't care. I lost plenty of, you know, this type of platform loses plenty of followers. But, oh, they get upset about, oh, I like this, but I don't like whatever. Just just go. OK. And this is something that we have so 
many this is something that so many of our people would never understand when it comes to people like Judge Greg Mathis and what he did right there and his guy Kevin Samuel when he was alive. There are going to be people that are going to say, well, yeah, Judge Greg Mathis, this is what you're saying. This is what a lot of these people are saying. Yeah, but what he was saying, it was the truth. What, what, he, what he said right there, it was the truth. And then you have people that will say, oh, yeah, yeah, but what Kevin Samuel talked about, it was the truth. Okay, with that being correct, you have to acknowledge the fact that what white supremacist conservatives and the KKK and many other people say are the truth also, okay? That's like when Whitey says, well, drugs are all the black people's problem. All these black people are in prison for drugs. Look how many black people are in prison for drugs. Look how many black children are dropping out. Look how many black girls get pregnant. Look how many young black men get caught selling drugs. Look how many black people are unemployed. That's true, right? Isn't that true? When these guys like Bill O'Reilly and Don Imus, when he used to do it, and these other conservative cowards would sit around and give numbers and critique the black culture or black people, were they not telling the truth with what they said? Yes, they were. Absolutely, they were telling the truth, okay? Because the truth is not the end of the tunnel for the black experience in America. And that's one thing that I hate about cowards and white supremacists. Tell the whole story. When they like to give these results, as far as black people are concerned, they don't like to give the whole story. They just like to give the end of the tunnel, what people can see right there. Okay, but why is it like that? The only people that they do that with is black people in America. Hold up. Why did this situation get like that? They don't tell the whole story, okay? Saying something that's the truth without telling the entire story is a cowardly way of doing things. And that's what these white supremacist crackers do, okay? Especially with the systemic issues that they created. You know what I'm saying? And the way I always seen it, people who support black people, who diss, dog, and berate other black people in the community without telling the entire story, that's a coward. That is a black cracker. I wouldn't care if you were a man like Judge Greg Mathis or a woman like that Cynthia G and, and then whatever other ones or what Kevin Samuel used to do. Of course, black people have issues with black people. Black men have issues with black women. Black women have issues with black men. Asian men have issues with Asian women. All men and women always had issues or are going to. But black people in America are the only ones who will create an entire platform to make money off of dissing and dogging and berating their own sister or mother or brother or dads or uncles. Absolutely disgusting. This can't happen amongst any other culture because these people who are doing this, they get pushed up out of here. And I wish that we had it in us to do that. But we don't. But we don't because we different kind of people. Okay? We different kind of people. But these black cowards who go out and have platforms where they give the end of the story, they give the fruit part of the story without giving the root and talking about why things are the way they are systemically. They're no different than Bill O'Reilly, Candace Owens, Herschel Walker, the Kent, the Hodge twins, Sean Hannity, or any one of these other cowardly white supremacist weasels. Uh, what's that dude's name? Damn, what's that guy's name? He's one of the most disgusting ones. Damn, I can't think of it right now. I can't think of his name. It's super easy to pick on black people in America. It's super easy. It's very easy to pick on black people in America. Okay? Because black people in America are the only people that don't have a home. And our story is never told from the root. Our systemic issues so we have our own people who are willing to jump on that and create entire platforms. You know, I don't got a problem so much with people saying certain things. Just tell the truth. Tell the whole story. And that's one thing that these cowardly Negroes don't do. That's one thing that Judge Greg Mathis would never do. OK, that's one thing that this guy, Kevin Samuel, who people love I'm using his name because people love him so much. He got a lot of godsons and, and nephews and stuff like that. 
That's one thing that Judge Greg Mathis, who going out here dissing and berating black men, he would never do that. Kevin Samuel would never do that. But in my opinion, Kevin Samuel had a big platform, but he was a coward on his platform. OK, this is why all them racist white boys liked him. That's why they wanted him to come up. He talked about the black community. He talked about black women, what they do, what's wrong, the way they think and how they need to think. OK, cool. OK. And he also had some of the most slow, delusional black women calling into the show. If you ever notice, a lot of those black women that called into his show were slow because a black woman who had sense wouldn't even call saying some of the dumb things that they were saying. They were detached. OK. They would, they would say things that didn't make sense at all. He created a platform off of that by just making them sit there and look stupid. Very easy to do because they were slow, a lot of them, and delusional. And yes, Kevin Samuel was telling the truth and the things that he was saying to them. It, came, it did come from a bad place, but my issue with guys like him is they will never, ever, ever talk about the systemic issues that led to the condition of these black women with this mentality. He talked about the black family, but he would never, ever, ever, you know, talk about the systemic issues and what happened and how these things got the way they did. Like all of a sudden, one year, people just woke up and said, oh, I'm going to be independent and strong. I don't need no man. As if that just happened out of nowhere, as if that wasn't a systemic thing worked out by white supremacists and Zionist science. And it worked. The crack era, everything, all this stuff intertwined in that. He, his platform, he act like, oh, they just woke up, said, I don't want no man. This coward right here, Judge Greg Mathis, oh, he just woke up. Oh, black men, they do this and they do that. Are you stupid? Judge Mathis is a coward. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who does this is a coward. It was an entire attack on the black community, okay, with this crack era and many other things that were involved before that. He goes and talks about the low-hanging fruit. We know it was bums that sit on couches all day and don't want to work, and mom was boys and ain't have no dad at home, and they're a bunch of punks and cowards. They drink juice all day and play. We know that's true. You know what I mean? Stuff like that goes on in the culture. Let's talk about why things are the way they are. It don't mean it's not going to be bad people. There's always going to be bad people. Unless you do believe that white people were created better than black people, which is not the truth. Every human was created. You can make your own decisions. But we're talking about these systemic issues. These guys like Judge Greg Mathis and these other guys like Kevin Samuel, they would never talk about the systemic issues or why things are the way they are. Because if they do that, they have to address whitey. And if they address Whitey, they would not have any money, they wouldn't have a platform, and they're too scared and cowardly, okay? Now, women, you people who listen to this thing that Judge Mathis gave and support this, you know what I'm saying? And support st you support stuff like that. If you're a woman and you just listen to Judge Greg Mathis, like those women out there and can applaud and hoop and hop, you're no different than the same men who talk about dogging you. Y'all don't get it. You, you cowards are all the same. I don't understand. Like, you can literally read comments and just say, like, you don't get it. Like, y'all all the same. Y'all not one of us. You're not one of the real ones. You're not one of the real black men. You're not one of the real black women. You guys are all cowards. You should all have your own republic like the Dominicans. Put you all there. Let y'all fight and kill each other. These are cowards, people. And the celebrities who... They worship and who give them these. But it's a lot more than Judge Greg Mathis and Kevin. Because there's a lot of, you know, Kevin Samuel Juniors. There's a lot of Cynthia. What's her name? Cynthia G. Mini Me's out running around trying to do that work. You know, but shout out to the real ones who don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? These these are groups of cowards, people. The women who love when people berate black men. And the men who love when people berate black women. You got a mom and a daughter, a dad, a brother, a sister. I mean, an uncle. I, it, it's crazy. Only only a confused Negro could do that. It, it, it's something, something was done to us, y'all. They're so delusional and arrogant in their ignorance that they don't even believe that they're the same people. It's wild. I know there's some people who watch certain videos I create just because it fulfills, you know, 
their lack of responsibility for their decisions and things that you can see them by the comment. I know that. You know what I mean? I know that. Judge Mathis is a weak coward. He never attacks whitey. He never talks about systemic issues. He attacks black men and he's anti-black family union, but he goes around and supports his big homo son in the in the media. I'm proud of him. He's brave. No, he's not. He's a lizard. That's why your wife is probably disgusted. You raised him to be that. And let me tell you people something. I don't care what anybody says. Some of us drew the line of morality and left it there, and we ain't going to cross it. All that moving with the times, we ain't crossing it. It's more people like that. It's more people like me. We drew the line, and we ain't never going to cross it. We drew our line of morality. This is right. This is wrong. I don't care what they show in the media, on TV, what they try to say is cool or the wave. It's certain ones of us. We never going to cross it. We never going to say it's okay for a man to be with a man or woman to be with a woman. We're never going to say it's okay to create platforms solely to dog and berate our own people and have a gender war. We're never going to say it's okay to wear hoochie daddy shorts. We're never going to say it's okay to wear a pocketbook and call it a man purse or whatever. And all this, we're not going to do it. We drew the line and we're not going to do it. It's wrong for a man to marry a man. I don't care who your nephew or your big son is married. I don't care what your daughter having a nice wedding. She wants to marry a girl. This is Satanism. Ex stop for Allah. Okay? I know, yeah, yeah, everything is between you and God, but we don't promote and support what is against it. It is what it is. I need my Christian people or my people who say they follow the laws. Rebuke these nasty people, man. Come on, man. Don't fall into this mess, man. This is, this is deception, man. Anyway, Judge Mathis, you a big, big, wide, muffin-faced coward, and so was your son, Easy.